Hi, this is Vansh and in this video we are going to create a local demo website on flowers and use the meta tag module in it in Drupal 8. So this is my default Drupal installation. I have installed Drupal locally. So first of all, I am going to create some content regarding flowers. I am going to change the name first of all. Let's change the site settings. Okay, this is flowers. Let's save. Okay, all right. So let's create some content. First, let's create a content type on flowers. Let's say flower description types of flowers. Okay, let's publish it to promote to first page. This I don't need that. That's fine. I don't need that. Let's save. Okay. So let's add some fields. I need a body field, an image field. Yes, that will do. Oh, image. Yeah, I don't need default one. Let's save this setting. Okay, I don't need this setting. I'll just remove this. Let's save. Okay, let's manage display. And hidden. Let's save. Okay, let's create some content now. Let's create this. I'm going to add flower okay the title would first one is rose I have a file with me this I have some data from Wikipedia I'm just going to copy and paste this I even have images Um, yeah. yes, this will do okay and as we can see we don't have and we haven't installed any meta tag update later we'll see that we can add a meta tag option here let's save okay so one is added Similarly, I'm going to add a few more. Well, apparently, Lily is Lilium. Is the word for Lily? I don't know why. Let's choose a file. This is the Lily one. Let's save. Okay. Let's add tulip or oh, lotus. Yeah, it is a beautiful flower. Well, a lotus is called Nilembo Nukifera Indian lotus. Ah, that's confusing. I don't know. But it's a beautiful flower.
so everything now uh, content is added i have three content title three nodes with me so let us add the meta tag module let's go to google.org modules and let's search for meta tag yes here it is let's go down copy this link let's go to extend well we have copied this i also we also need the token module we'll see right now mm. okay open issuer certificate i'll just install this using version control that is easier let's copy this let's go to our map folder and yeah CD, let's go to modules here. Yeah, I have started it right. Let's paste it here and meta tag will be cloned. Okay, it's done. Let's go to modules. we can see a whole lot of new modules are available for us these meta tag modules also it requires a token the token module i'm just going to modules yeah it would be right here let's just do it the same way i'm going to copy this paste it here and it will clone it in the modules okay it's done let's refresh now the meta tag module actually uh, gives a description or these adds the adds the meta tag or multiple meta tags in our to our html or php document uh, in which the, these tags help us to describe our website like these mostly they are used for search engine optimizations seo to so that our website can be searched on different search engines so it for different keywords and different for so that we can add description to our website so token is installed let us Installed meta tag. Also, this meta tag module says to integrate more, it gives us more options. Like, we can even set meta tags for controlling uh, the social media, how to post on social media, or yeah, like Facebook. I'm going to enable this. Okay, so open graph. This module also this supports the meta tags. Uh, and it also helps us to describe what content is to be posted on social media so let's enable this one also let's install okay so these modules are installed now Let's go back to site.
Okay. So, okay. So let us open it. Um, okay, when we go to source code of our site, we can see meta tags here. Right. This is the HTML document. It has meta tags. It is the title. The title that is displayed over here. Okay, it just has this bar and flowers. We can change these. Uh, these viewport. Well, this is the for the HTML. Okay, the name mobile optimized bit weight. This is different. Drupal eight. Okay, name generator. We can change all of this. Let's go back to our site. Okay. So for that, let's configure our meta tag. Okay, let's come down here in search and metadata, meta tags. Okay, so this page helps us to configure our meta tags for different types and even for the global like that adds to everything. Okay, so even the content let's first edit the global okay so page title is current page title site name the site name was flowers current page title edit default meta tags well this we can change to whatever we want to globally well i would like to have the site name first and then I would like to have well also let's use tokens here which is necessary though okay so site information we can put the site name we already have the site name the site URL content uh, current users well we can add all this or we can just say Keep it back to current page title. I'll, I'm going to keep it in the starting. This current page title, site name. Okay. So we can add a description. The meta tag, then the description for our website. I'm going to add the information about various flower types okay abstract abstract is also the same like description only keywords yeah that is really a helpful thing to, so that our website is searched properly i'm going to add keywords like flowers well these keywords when a user or any person searches words like flower or flower types okay so we want our website to be come on the list of google or on, on any search engine so that he can come on uh, so that he can visit our website once at least he can see that our website is there when he searches for keywords for words like flowers etc okay these advanced settings like short link url news keywords image we can even put an image i'm going to use open graph okay uh, the determiner is well open tag is uses control how pinterest and other social and facebook other social networking sites interpret the site's content okay so uh, let's add a site our site name content type well flowers well the page url i already have it but we can also add it by tokens well, i'm not going to add it by tokens uh, just come down here page url let's add 
the page URL and the current page URL would we can see from here current page URL not twice okay so the title would be current page title the description we can set anything like types of flowers or anything well even an image okay we can copy the image that we want to put here so image here of an image which should represent the content okay so let us pick an image from google of flowers well this is you can see as this is the global meta tag the meta tag for global for all in general so i'm going to just pick any flower i guess uh, beautiful one well this is a good one or yes this one is nice so let's just copy this link oh not image copy image address and paste it right here okay so let's come down we can even even put in video image version of og image well this is og is the you can see <laughs> why is this even open? open graph okay so this image tag did it go? image tag uh, it is an alternative version of open graph image and has exactly the same requirements okay so this just adds a meta tag that tells that the an image is, is can be added here for the social media ones okay so these are just more features that we can add same goes with facebook okay so we even have facebook admins like when we have a page for facebook page we can add admins facebook pages application id platform application id is available i'm going to see that later let's save for now okay so global tag is saved let's check this out okay so when we view its source we can see that the okay wait. not right now the page well let's add first the front page let's add from front page don't need this basic tags the page title it's flowers info of different flowers okay the description can be anything we want like type of flowers abstract keywords flowers flower types let's save well as this is saved here okay we can see that this has changed this is the title that we just put in our meta tag on the front page this just changed here sorry this just changed here all right so let's go back to our configuration meta tags and we'll change a bit for our content the content we are going to add a meta tag for our content flower okay let's select the content type flower let's add basic tags to it page title current page title well i am going to just instead of this types of flowers then the site name is flowers okay 
Mm, no wait this is the content type we need to add we are going to need this current page title yeah the type of flower we have description will be well let's first uh, have the tokens with us i am going to add a token current page title then information about current page title well this can be current page title comma flowers comma flower well we can see we need to add different keywords differently same goes with open graph that we just did back there content type we can do this i don't want to right now we just the same thing that we did for globally let's save okay so let's go back to site well let us view uh, content we can see that this has changed lotus and flowers okay the title has changed well even when we go to the page we can see meta og type flowers well this is why well open graph when we added the type it was flowers right the url the, it is giving us the node 3 this is node 3 the url we have it with us open graph title lotus okay keywords lotus flowers flower that we just added there right so this is how the meta tag module works with drupal 8 so thank you